Today I want to speak to you about the Athenian spirit. There is a spirit of Athens which was uh, there back in the days and I believe this spirit is still out here uh, with people lately. If you have checked very well, this is a spirit of people just wanting to know something new. People just want to know what's new, what's cutting. People want to be updated all the time. But uh, it's not to be updated so that they can prepare themselves or do anything positive. But they just want to know what's new. I want to be the first. Maybe something has happened. They just want to be the first. And this is a spirit which was there back in the days, in the days of the Apostle Paul. As the Bible tells us, there is nothing new under the sun. In the book of Acts chapter 17, from verse 19, Apostle Paul went to Athens in Greece. And then when, when he got there, he was speaking and trying to teach people. And then something happened. In verse 19, it says, And they took him and brought him to Aeropagus, saying, May we know what is this new doctrine? They want to know what is this new thing whereof you speaketh is. For thou bringest certain strange things into our ears. We would know, therefore, what these things mean. We want to know. Tell us what is this new thing. We are so excited to know something new. And verse 21 tells us why they were asking. Were they asking so that they may know? Not really, because they just love new things. <laughs> verse 21, it says, For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Just like the same way it is today. People just love hearing a new thing. But does that new thing really change them? Do they really adhere and understand and maybe use that new thing that they have learned for good? Or, or are you just sitting down there to listen to some new thing? Oh, 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 who has done this? Who has died today? Who has done this and that? That is exactly how people are today. But let's see. After Paul told them the new thing, how did they react? Did it change them? Because the new thing he was telling them is about the gospel of Jesus Christ. How did they behave? Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, You men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God, whom therefore you ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. So, you want to hear a new thing? So, while I was passing, I saw somewhere where you have written to the unknown God. And that's the unknown God that you're praying. But now what I want to do is that I want to tell you who is this God that you do not know. I want to explain him to you. So, did these people really embrace uh, God whom they didn't know? Or did they say otherwise? Let's see. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and the earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, seeing he gives all life and breath and all things, and has made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on the face of the earth, and has determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and are of our being, as certain also of our own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much then, as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's devices. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day in, in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has ordained, whereof he has given assurance unto all men, in that he has raised him from the dead. Now he has told him, who is this unknown God that they have been worshipping? This is the God who created the heaven and earth, who wants them all to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. But did they embrace him? Verse 32, 
234 tells us they never even embraced him. Check here. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, <laughs> some mocked and others said, we will hear thee again of this matter. We will listen this matter later. Then so Paul departed among them, howbeit certain men clave unto him and believed among the which was Dinosius and Aeropagite and a woman named Damaris and others with them. You see, in the midst of every discussion, every news, there are always people who embrace the news. Like the same way we have the news, the good news of Jesus Christ. How many really embrace that news? The Bible says narrow is the way and few find it. And uh, if you find this way, my friend, are you among us the few who find it? Or are you among us the people who just want to hear something new? You have had the good news of Jesus Christ, but then you have never embraced it. You have to be awake. You have to know that don't just be filled with this spirit of Athens, which was just wanting to know something new. But they never ever embraced the gospel. They never ever embraced the truth. They were just hearers, but never doers of the word. They were just listeners, but never being changed. Ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. And that is exactly how the world is today. So be a different person. And I believe you're going to change yourself and even change the world.